Hi, I'm Brendan Tang, and I'm one of the judges on the Great Canadian Pottery Throwdown. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the tools that we use here at the show, and also tools that I use in my studio. This is what we sometimes call a loop tool or a trimming tool, and it is used when the clay has been thrown on the wheel, it has had some time to dry, and then you wanna do some reshaping and detail work with this. It is used to remove clay. You'll probably see this used quite a bit. One of my favorite tools to use is actually this metal rib. And this metal rib can be used at different stages of manipulating the clay. For instance, when you're on the wheel and you're throwing and you want a smooth exterior body, you can bend this tool and push it up against the side of the clay and make those beautiful curves and full forms. This can also be used later on when the clay has been dried a bit, it's been trimmed, and you wanna smoothen down the clay body if it looks like it has some jagged marks. So this is a really great one. Sort of a version of that is what's called the serrated rib tool. Actually, this one is my favorite tool. This is used for making marks on leather hard clay, or if you're joining things together, one side of a piece of clay, to scrape it down and then to another side of a piece of clay and then you would use a little bit of water to join them together. Another tool that we have here is a wooden tool. Some of these tools you may have noticed, they look really basic and it's true. The wonderful thing about ceramics is it's been around with our species for about 32,000 years. And this wooden tool is probably something very similar that our ancient, ancient, ancient ancestors would have used when manipulating clay. It can be used for cleaning a piece that you're sculpting on the wheel. It can be used for mark making. It can be used, this back end is kind of an extension of my finger. So if I'm trying to get into a hard to reach area, you could use that part to smoothen some areas out. It's really fantastic. Now, probably something that uh, you might be familiar with if you are a super spy and you need to take out other spies on the other side is the wire tool. Uh, it is not a garrote as we uh, commonly know it, but it is used for removing clay from the potter's wheel or you'll see some of our potters using it to cut their clay blocks up before they start working with it. Something that is more contemporary, probably something that's invented within the last 200 years, is this torch. And this is a torch that we'll be using quite a lot on the pottery show. And it's, it's used for drying out the pieces. This little bad boy helps dry things out and speed up the process. Another tool that you might see the potters use is this tool here. And this one sits next to the potter's wheel as they're throwing, and a potter might have a dimension that they wanna go for. And you can adjust this to sit next to the potter's wheel, and you'd be like, okay, I wanna go that high, and I wanna go, you could adjust this one, and you could be like, the lower diameter could be like this. And then as you're throwing your form, you'll see where it's meeting the mark on that one. They have old fashioned ones, but this one is a more state of the art, weighted bottom, aluminum handling, uh, and it spins around, so that's kind of handy too. So there are a few of the pottery tools that we have here in the pottery on the Great Canadian Pottery Throwdown.